Hey, what the heck was that all about? What is it, you stupid little brat? You lied to me about how the date for the wedding had been changed, didn't you? Ah, so you figured out that that was just a lie. I knew it. So you really were trying to lie to me there. Why? Why would you lie to me about details like that? Well, there were some things that came up and changed the current situation for me. And that led me to wanting you to stay away from my wedding is all. Wanting me to stay away? What happened that would make you want me to stay away? Well, come on now. Think about it yourself, would you? <laughs> the wedding's going to be one of the most important days for Piper and me. And I'd rather you celebrate our wedding from afar. If you know what I mean. What? What the heck? I can't believe that you try and keep the little sister of the bride away from her wedding. Do you have any idea how much effort I've helped put into this wedding for you two? What are you going on about there, Riley? Um, well, it's probably better that you don't know what I'm talking about now. But anyway, Piper has asked for me to be there at the wedding and not to miss a thing. Is that so? Well, even if she wants you to be there, I don't. I don't want you there for the sake of Piper's and my future together. I am her little sister. I am a part of Piper's family. I am going to make sure I'm there on the day of her wedding for her, whether you like it or not, all right? <coughs> what are you trying to do, Damien? I can't believe you're taking things this far now. What? You still haven't gotten out of here yet? I don't care how many times you try and message me in order to get me to talk. I have a lot on my plate at the moment. There are very important customers here for me, and I can't be slowed down by you. I told you to get out of here, so scram! Why are you trying so dang hard to get me to leave this place, Damien? I don't want someone with the looks of you coming into this place. This wedding is meant to be a place for celebration, not disgust! <laughs> and I came here today to celebrate you and my sister getting married, just like the rest of the guests. I'm the groom here, and I want you gone! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am Piper's little sister, for God's sake. Do you not realize how bad things could turn out for you if she found out how hard you're trying to get rid of me? <laughs> you're nothing to me, and you're going to be nothing to her as well once this wedding happens. Do you really think I accept someone with a scar like that on her face as my little sister? Wait, that's your reason for acting like that? You want me out of this wedding because of the scar on my face? That's exactly right, Riley! <laughs> what, what the heck? How were you ever able to find a way to marry my sister of all people when you say things like that? That's because she's madly in love with me! <laughs> and that's the reason why today is a very, very special day for her and I. Do you think either of us really want you to be here ruining the vibe at our wedding with a hideous face like that? <laughs> So you just want me gone because you think I'm going to ruin your wedding with my looks? Yep, that's right. I want you gone in order to safeguard my future with Piper. No freaking way. Shut the hell up. I have a lot of things going on right now, and I do not need you here getting in my way any longer. Hurry the hell up and get lost. <laughs> and once you're gone, don't you ever come back around your sister and me. I have a lot riding on my plate now and don't need you here screwing it up. A lot riding on your plate? There's someone I'm waiting for. Someone very important to me that will decide the fate of my future. Someone who's very powerful in the world of music production. They're coming to this wedding today, as they happen to already know Piper. Hmm. If I'm able to get on that producer's good side, then my dream of making it big won't be too far away anymore. However, once anyone learns about the real person you're hiding under that mask, I don't think anyone will want you making it big. The real person I am? I'm the perfect person, Riley! What about me am I hiding from others that would turn them off? <laughs> I'll tell you. You're the kind of person that thinks it's alright to do as they please. The kind of person that finds it completely alright to have me kicked out of my own sister's wedding just because of my looks. I cannot believe my sister is marrying a man like you. <laughs> You're just over-exaggerating things. I'm not doing any of this because I'm a bad person. Rather, I'm just trying to protect my future with your sister. <laughs> what future am I going to harm? I haven't done a single thing that would be harming your future with her. You literally were just over here kicking me to the ground and getting all my dress clothes dirtied. You've even gotten my hands scuffed up pretty badly by what you've done. Ha! Who 
cares that you have a couple more cuts on your hands now? You already have that massive scar on your face, so nobody will notice a thing. Ha <laughs> ha. This is unbelievable. You have no right talking about me like that, Damien. I really should have made sure to meet with you before all this started. Then I would have had time to stop this wedding and make sure that you never got married to my sister. Ha! Well, it's too late for that now. See ya! The wedding will be starting at 11 a.m., okay? I'm sure you're already here, though, right? Uh, yeah, I'm here. I was thinking of having small cheers before things kicked off, so perhaps you can start making your way over to me. All right, I'll be over to you in a little bit. Don't be late, all right? I want you to be here to join the cheers, and then after that, be ready to watch the whole wedding. I also want to show off my wedding dress to you. I'll be there for all of that, I promise. But why do you want me seeing everything? Well, that's because I care about you a lot, Riley. I feel as though you deserve to be around me on my biggest day so that I can show you how much I care about you, like you've cared for me. You're still going on about things like that? But I should. We don't have to talk about things from the past anymore, Piper, okay? This is supposed to be your big day, and I want you to be focused on that more than me. I know, but I want you to be here to see my dress before the rest of the guests do. I want you to see that this time I'll be alright. Then you can stop worrying about me for good and get back to focusing on your own life. Thank you for that. I didn't think you were that worried about my situation. But no matter how much you try and show me you're okay, I'm going to be thinking about you. You're my family, after all, and that's what we do for our family. Yeah, that's exactly right. So I'm going to continue doing everything in my power to make sure you're the happiest you can be. Well, you might want to know that I do a lot of this for another reason as well to make up for some of the past where I may have hurt you more than a little sister should. I hope you understand that as well, and know that I want to make everything right between us. Um, yeah, of course I know that. I'm the one that's relying on you now, so I promise that everything you do won't make me upset or hurt. And I promise that everything you're doing is truly making things right for us. Thank you, Piper. You've made me feel a lot more confident about what needs to be done next, then. What? What are you talking about? I have just a few more things to do, and then I'll be over there to see you before the cheers. Then we can talk. You'd better stop all your crap, because I'm coming back in. No way! <laughs> I was just about to go and tell Piper that you'd gone back home and wouldn't be here for the wedding. She's not going to believe any of that to be true, though. I was just asked by her to hurry things up and go see her in a few minutes. That woman is madly in love with me. <laughs> what? I think that song I sung for her ensnared her in my line. And I'm going to reel her in by the end of the day without her ever getting off it. That's the reason why she's always been following me around, Riley. She can't get away. She doesn't want to get away. <laughs> and that's just what I want from her as well. She's very convenient to me. So I need to make sure she's always at my side and on my side. <laughs> convenient? She listens to everything I tell her, and she never does anything crazy when it comes to being my partner, so I'm not going to lose any of my fans over her. She's the perfect woman for me to be with, and I'm not letting her go. <laughs> and you want to know what makes her the best woman of all? The most convenient woman of all? When I told her I wanted this wedding, she went right ahead and did every single thing for me in terms of getting it prepared. And the best part of all? I didn't have to pay a single dime. This is all amazing for me. <laughs> I see. So that's what she is to you. And to top things all off, she happens to have friends in the music business. Honestly, I have to say that she's the perfect tool for me to use. <laughs> so until I've made it big in the music world, she's going to stay at my side. What is all of this, Damien? Acting like you can just use her like that? Once I've become a star... I won't have any use for her anymore. I'll make sure to get rid of her then, and you can have her back as your sister. I wouldn't want her to be left on the streets after I'm done with her. Littering is bad for the environment, so would you please make sure to be there to dispose of her properly? <laughs> I really don't know what else to say about any of that. And that's totally okay with me. You staying quiet really helps me stay focused. I have a lot of things going on in my life, 
and you being around me yapping all the time is not going to help. So, get any final words off your chest now if you have any. My time for you is dwindling! <laughs> so is the person you've been waiting for come yet? Nope, not yet. I'm sure they're far more busy than I am right now. They might not make it here until after the wedding has already started. What will you do if that's the case? I'll just have the wedding put on hold and wait until they arrive. I can't have the wedding start before that famous music producer has arrived. So you are really looking to get on that producer's good side then? Well, of course I am. To me, that producer is one of the few people in my life that can change my life for the better. I see. Well, luckily there is still some time before the wedding gets underway, right? That's right. But what does any of that matter to you? This wedding, and whatever else goes on here, has nothing to do with you. And once it's over, you won't have anything to do with your sister and I. I'm going to tell your sister that she and I are cutting ties with you for good! Ha 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 ha! Go right ahead and tell her that. I really do plan on things after the wedding being completely and utterly over between us. What's all that about? Are you finally coming around to see that we don't want you around us? I'm being serious when I say that I don't want your butt around us ever again! Well, we'll just have to see how things play out then today. You might end up taking those words back. The wedding still hasn't started yet, right? You're still going on about things like that? I'm sure you can tell by the time that it's not quite started yet. Really? Well, if it hasn't quite started yet, then there's still time. Also, this is going to be the last time I bother you. What's going on with you? You're not going to be allowed to see this wedding, you freak! I'm not talking about coming to see your wedding. To you, today is supposed to be that huge turning point in your life, right? That's right. I'm sure you understand that after all the times I've had to explain that to you now. But before that's able to happen for you, there is something that must be done. What do you mean? Something else needs to be done? You're going to need to be taken into custody by the police. The police?! What the hell are you going on about now?! Well, I was kicked to the ground today by a man, right? And I ended up getting hurt in the process of it. That makes for a pretty good case when it comes to both the police and the court. So I've made sure to have them get involved as soon as possible, and that also means you having to be taken away by the police. But what are you talking about? All I did was push you a little, and you fell to the ground softly, right? You think that's all you did to me, Damien? You kicking me to the ground like that resulted in me getting injured. I don't think your bullcrap reasoning for it is going to fly with the police or in court either. Hold on. You're getting way too far ahead of yourself right now. I have a lot going on today, and this wedding is one of the most important moments of my life. You can't just take this moment away from me! I don't care about your important moments. <laughs> I'm going to get in touch with a lawyer over what's happened to me today, and then I'll make sure that the next place I'm seeing you is in the courthouse. As of right now, though, I'm going to be reporting what's happened to the police. Do you want to tell them about what you have to say? How right now is an important moment in your life, so they can't take you away for assaulting me? <laughs> Maybe they will actually listen to you and let you go. Tell them that today is your turning point and that it is not to be messed with by anyone, which is very much true. Today is a major turning point in your life, but not for the better. <laughs> Who do you think is even going to believe what you tell them about us? What was that? My hands and arms are covered in scrapes right now, so I'm pretty sure it's not hard to prove what happened. I think it will be, though. Everyone is going to think that you just fell down and got all those scrapes. You are a clumsy idiot, after all. <laughs> this doesn't have to do with me being clumsy to people or not. All I have to do is say that I was kicked to the ground by you and the police will have to take action. But nobody's going to believe such a weak claim as that. <laughs> so just shut the hell up and leave me alone. All you're going to do by telling the police is damaging yourself even more. Well, to be honest, I'm totally fine with them not believing me. Huh? Then why were you making such a big deal about it just then? What's going on with you? I just need for the police to look into what happened a little is all. Why do you want that? Well, because at the front of the reception hall where you kicked me to the ground, there's a security camera. When they have a look at the recording on it, they will find out that I am not lying at all and come deal with you. Which I'm sure will happen. <laughs> what?! So I'm sorry to say, but this is it for your turning point being anything other than bad. <laughs> Also, you might want to kiss goodbye to your chances of getting married to my sister. 
you can think up a new plan for yourself becoming a star while sitting over at the county jail for a little while. Wait, wait! Are you really going to take all of this to the police? I already said that I would. Why would I lie about doing something like that to you? I'm about to get on the phone with them right now, so would you please stop texting me? But if you do something like that... Then you'll be taken into custody, right? And if that happens, I won't be able to have my wedding to Piper! Well, of course not. <laughs> the wedding will be cancelled by that point. Do you think doing something like that to us is okay, though? I have no other choice now. I was attacked by the groom of that wedding. But your sister will be affected by all of this as well! Piper won't be able to get wed to me! That's right. She's a very important member of my family, so this is all for the best. Well, what about me? Aren't I a part of your family, too? No, you are not. Just a while ago, you were going on about how you don't want to think of me as your little sister, right? The uh, that was just me being a... I wasn't thinking at the time. So what? You think I'm just going to forgive you for not thinking? Because you've been doing it all day now, and I'm starting to think you might not have a brain in that head whatsoever. D do you have any idea how much your sister has been looking forward to this wedding, though? Oh, I do. I've been talking with her about it leading up to today. Well then, what the hell are you thinking trying to ruin this wedding for her? You think you have the right to be saying things like that to me when you're the type of person that can just kick someone to the ground over how they look? <laughs> you're her little sister, so don't do something that's going to make her sad! The only thing that will make her sad is being married to a loser like you. Don't you say something like that to me! You're just talking from your own ego now! All right, then. I can see that us talking about this right now isn't going to get anywhere. How about you try talking with my sister and seeing what she thinks about this? <laughs> sure thing! I'll go let her know about what you're trying to do. But let me tell you, she's not going to be favoring you any, because she's already too far on my side. And she's not going to listen to a thing you try and say! <laughs> and if that's how things turn out, then I guess there was no helping her. Piper! Something bad has happened! What's happened? Your little sister is trying to tear this whole wedding apart! Huh? What are you talking about? She just went off the deep end a second ago, telling me about how she won't let me have you as my wife, and then she's going to put a stop to the wedding! If we don't do something about her now, this wedding's going to be cancelled! Can you please go tell her to knock all of that off? That's not going to be a problem, Damien. What? what do you mean? Why not? Because I've already gone and told all the guests that this wedding is being cancelled. Why would you do something like that? Well, isn't it obvious? I can't get married to a monster that thinks it's okay to make fun of the scar my sister has. And then assaults her in order to get her to leave my wedding. Wait, 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 wait. Why do you think something like that happened? I heard all about it from Riley. You are literally the worst man I've known. Hold on a second. You have this all backwards, Piper. She's lying to you right now! All so that she can get her way of making sure that we don't have our wedding today! Well then what was all that stuff you said in those texts you sent to her earlier? Riley showed me that whole conversation. Are you still going to try and tell me that she's been lying to me? You... you saw all of that? Wait a sec, I just had to say all of that at the time! What do you mean you had to say all of that at the time? You're telling me you had no other choice but to tell her to get lost? But today's a very important day for the two of us, so I wanted her to be as far away as possible from it. For us! And that's because of the scar she has on her face? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's because of that. This wedding's going to have a lot of people at it who are very important to us. You of all people should know what this wedding means to me. Oh, cut the crap, Damien. Who the hell do you think you are saying such rude stuff to my sister like that? Why are you mad at me for that? You know why I'm mad right now. The man I've been planning to marry has been treating my little sister like she's some kind of monster. You think I'm just going to let that kind of behavior from you keep happening? W wait a second! Just chill out for me! You think I can chill out for you right now after seeing all the things you said? Did you know that the reason she has such a huge scar on her face is because of me? What? Are you kidding me? I'm not. When I was younger, I had been carrying a kettle filled with boiling hot water. And as she was walking by me, I slipped, spilling all of that hot water onto her face. Her face was a mess that day, and it later ended up being terribly scarred by the burns. 
Is that right? It's because of me that Riley ended up giving up on her dreams of being a music artist. What? She was making music as well? She was. Her goal was to become a pro at the time, and she spent every second of her life going towards that goal. But because of what I'd done, that dream of hers vanished. And as of right now, she's working a completely different kind of job. I never knew about that. That's why I wanted to be there for you, since you have that same dream that she had. And with the help of Riley, her and I were going to support you in making sure that you had a major debut and everything like that. But now, I'm not so sure you deserve anything like our help. Uh, I made a mistake, all right? I'm sorry for doing something that wasn't exactly as you wanted and caused you to get a little upset with me, but you have to understand that I was doing all of that for our sake. That has nothing to do with anything right now. I will not take you making fun of my little sister's face as a way of protecting us. That's why this wedding is over with, Damien. Riley is already talking with the police right now, I believe. So you're going to be taken into custody by them after all this. Give it up with those weak lies you keep trying to make up and just come forward about everything you've done to her. Now, I'm busy with a lot of things. Good luck with whatever awaits you next. For crying out loud. Right now she's not bothering to read any more of my goddamn texts! Do you understand your position now? Piper is not on your side in any of this, so you're on your own now. <laughs> well, it's not like I really needed to have the wedding with her anyway. <laughs> is that so? I guess you didn't need to make such a big deal about me being there or not after all. Well, I suppose that's so. This wedding was only about me meeting that music producer anyway, so I couldn't care less about it being cancelled. Oh, is that so? But I'm sure once they hear about you, they might not want to come see you after all, right? <laughs> they won't have to know anything about me. As long as I keep my composure and make myself look like the star I'm meant to be, then they'll never suspect what I did to you as being true. I sure am lucky they didn't arrive while everything between you and I was going down. <laughs> Looks like God isn't going to look away from me just yet. I'm not so sure about that. I believe that God took his eyes off you long ago and no longer cares about your future. Huh? What are you going on about now? I'm going on about that music producer you keep waiting to meet with. They've already been at the wedding for a while now. What are you trying to get at? I'm trying to say that the music producer you've been waiting for has been around you for a while now. But for the past hour or so, they haven't been able to get back into the building. <laughs> You're lying, right? There's no way that's possible. I am very sorry to be bursting your bubble like that, but what I'm saying is the truth. I am the music producer that you've been waiting to meet with today, Damien. What? But, but, but I never heard anything about you being the producer from Piper! Really? So Piper never told you anything about this? What? When you gave up on becoming a pro artist, did you instead go towards becoming a very famous music producer? You must have learned about that from her today, then. So that's what she meant by me getting both hers and your support? And I was really looking forward to coming and seeing what you were all about today as an artist. Uh, no, wait. There must have been some miscommunication here! Miscommunication? You're telling me you making fun of my face and literally kicking me to the ground in order to get me to leave was a miscommunication? Do you mind if I have a bit of your time to tell you something? Th uh, about all of this? Now, hold on there, Damien. You might not have the time to listen to me, but that goes both ways then. I'm not wasting my time sitting here listening to you make up excuses for your actions. Well, well then, before you tell me whatever else you have to say, can you listen to my song for you? I have a lot of confidence in it blowing you away, and you might even be willing to forget about what happened before then. No, I'm not listening to it. No matter how good your music might actually be, you're not the kind of person I'm willing to produce for. You don't seem to have the same views as I do, so things will never work out. Unlike you, I happen to hate using people without giving them something in return. And I also really hate those who judge people's appearances alone. But, but, my music is different from my personality! And it might just be, but your personality is far too abrasive for me to work with. Honestly, it's too abrasive for anyone to want to work with. Crap. Piper, I'm so sorry about so many things, all right? All of the talks about me getting that major debut are over with. 
and I'm going to end up becoming nothing now. What am I supposed to do with myself now? What do you want from me? I'm sure what I have to say is going to cause even more problems for you, but I'd like for you to think about all of this again, and come back to me! You really think I want to go back to you? But I've changed! Really? You've changed that quickly? I don't believe you. Not after all the things you said about my sister and I. Hey, Piper, please! Are you really okay with all that's going to happen here? Are you really going to be able to go up to everyone and explain the reasoning for why this wedding is being cancelled? People might start to suspect other things, and terrible rumors will begin to form about us. There'll be people that come out of this thinking you're the problem. I don't want people to start thinking about you, because you mean far too much to me. So at the very least, let's have this wedding. No, thank you. I'm going with Riley to the police. Then there will be nothing left for you to do. Hey, hey, are you being serious about all that? I sure am. There's no reason to us having a wedding anymore, as all the love I had for you is gone now. What do you mean all that love is gone? I'm saying that the flame that I had in my heart for you before is now cold, and I no longer want to be married to you. You don't want to marry me? You think I want to have a wedding with someone that I don't even want to marry anymore? That's why the wedding is cancelled, Damien. What's going to happen then? You already used a lot of money paying for this whole wedding? If you cancel it now, then you'll have to pay for the rest of the wedding anyway. Think all of this through, please! Oh, don't worry yourself about any of that. This wedding was all put on by Riley. What did you say?! The only way I was able to get her to help me was by saying you didn't have any money at the moment to pay for the wedding. I told her that by putting this wedding on for us, she'd have a chance at getting herself another artist to work with, and that was what settled things. Of course, she's going to have to pay for this wedding and the cancellation fees and all, but that money won't be coming out of her pockets. It'll all be coming from you once she's taken it. <laughs> what the f- Why is she going to get any money from me? You know very well why, Damien. You are the reason for this wedding being cancelled, and now you're going to have to pay her the money she's wasted on it. Had you just acted like a responsible human being, none of this would have had to happen. And then you and I could have happily had the wedding. And I'm sure that's the case. Now I'm heading to the police station with Riley. Uh, are you really going to do this to us, Piper? Shut the hell up. Just be quiet and wait for me to get back with you later. <laughs> Ugh, thank goodness we were able to settle all of that for now. What ended up happening to Damien? He was taken away by the police, finally. I see. I'm so sorry that you had to end up being wrapped into all his craziness today. The fact that you had to get hurt as well because of him, it makes me feel even worse for you. I'm sure you're going to hate me even more now, right? Hey, I told you to stop it with that kind of attitude. I don't have anything against you about the past, and what happened today wasn't your fault. But I was the reason you gave up on your dreams of becoming a music artist, right? You have to still have feelings against me for that. Well, you're not wrong about you being the reason for it, but I'm not holding anything against you for that. Right now, the job I have as a music producer is a lot more fitting for myself, I think. What? I find it way too much fun being in charge of supporting others in their dreams of becoming huge artists in the future. So you really don't have to worry about me anymore, as I'm doing just fine where I'm at now. All right, thank you for saying that. And as for right now, you're the one who's going through a lot more trouble, right? Your marriage ended up never coming to fruition. That's true. But I think it's better that things ended up the way they did today between us. What do you mean? Well, I wanted to hurry up and show you the kind of person I'd become today. And a part of that was by getting married to someone in order to show that your older sister was doing fine for herself. I kind of forced myself to look for someone who I could get married to quickly, and that landed me with Damien. I see. But hey, you don't have to rush things like marriage when it means you might end up with a man as bad as him. I see that now. Sorry. Don't apologize for it. Just make sure that the next guy you try marrying doesn't end up being an idiot like Damon is. 
After that, due to the things we had told the police about Damien, he was taken into custody by them and held at the county jail for questioning. Because of that, his image in the area was tarnished, and he would no longer become the artist he had been dreaming of. And that dream of ever getting a big debut with me was crushed by my hands. After being taken to court and told to pay me for the wedding and injuries I sustained, it was found that he didn't have the money to do so. He scrambled around asking friends and family to lend him money to help pay me. But due to the fact that he was in this position due to his violence, nobody dared work with him. And this led to him never being able to borrow any money from anyone he knew. As of right now, he's begun working three jobs and is trying his best to save up all the money he needs to pay me for the settlement I've asked for. And during this time, he's tried again and again to get back in touch with Piper about getting back together with her. But each and every time, she ignores him after giving a big no.